Some steam locomotives are elegant and some are powerful, but very few are as strange and as brilliant as this one. Meet the Southern Railway Q1 class, the most powerful 060 steam locomotive ever built in Britain. Designed for war, built for hard work, and unlike anything else on the rails. This is the incredible story behind Britain's ugliest yet most impressive freight engine. In the early 1940s, the Southern Railway was under immense pressure. London was a key hub for troops, supplies, ammunition, and everything needed for the war effort. But the Southern's fleet of freight locomotives simply wasn't powerful enough to cope. Chief Mechanical Engineer Oliver Bullade stepped in with a bold idea. Build a locomotive that was strong, cheap, easy to maintain, and able to run over almost the entire network. The result was the Q1 class. Lean, lightweight, and brutally efficient. The Q1 didn't just look different, it was different. To save weight and materials, Bullade removed anything that wasn't absolutely essential. No running plates, no splashes. Almost no external decoration at all. A welded body instead of heavy riveted construction and lightweight Ida glass insulation instead of traditional cladding. It was pure wartime austerity on wheels, but beneath that odd exterior was a monster. The Q1 produced over 30,000 pounds of tractive effort, making it the most powerful 060 ever built in Britain. It also had the largest fire grate area of any British 060. And despite being a tender locomotive, it weighed less than many tank engines, giving it excellent route availability across the southern system. Let's be honest, the Q1 was not beautiful. It earned nicknames like Ugly Duckling, Coffee Pot, Biscuit Tin and Frankenstein. One rival engineer, William Stanier, even looked at a photo of it and joked, where's the key? As if it were some giant metal clockwork toy. But behind that unusual appearance was an engineering masterpiece designed for one purpose, to move heavy wartime freight fast. The first Q1S rolled out of Brighton and Ashford Works in 1942, 40 locomotives in total. They were put straight to work hauling goods, fuel, military equipment and essential wartime supplies, and they excelled at it. British Railways later gave them a rare rating for an 060, a powerful 5F. Although built for freight, the Q1s even deputised on passenger trains when needed. They weren't glamorous, but they always got the job done. Withdrawals began in 1963, with the last examples gone by 1966. Not bad for a locomotive designed under wartime austerity to be little more than a temporary stopgap. Of the 40 built, only one survives today. C1, later renumbered 33001. She is now preserved at the National Railway Museum in York, a unique reminder of wartime ingenuity, engineering creativity and the sheer practicality of Bullade's design. The Q1 may not be elegant, but it proved that performance matters far more than looks and it stands today as one of Britain's great freight workhorses. If you enjoyed this story of the Southern Railway Q1 class, one of Britain's strangest yet most powerful steam locomotives, please give this video a like, share it with your fellow railway fans, and subscribe for more railway history. What's your favourite unusual locomotive? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next journey through railway history.